and welcome to All the Stitches, where I talk about my quilting, knitting, cross stitch, and all kinds of needlework. My name is Colleen, and I'm coming to you from the Lakes region of New Hampshire in the United States. This is episode 15, which is also part two of my Christmas crafting episode. But today I'm going to be doing something a lot different. It's going to be in a Vlogmas style. I'm bringing you some video of some of my Christmas preparations, my surrounding area, and of course I'll be showing you my Christmas quilts. Now these are my absolute favorite Christmas quilts. Uh, they're the ones that are hanging right now. So I'm going to be bringing you to the quilts. In addition to that, there's some festive music. Planning and preparing this episode has brought me so much personal joy and I can only hope to bring you a little bit of holiday cheer and some joy into your crazy holiday season of 2020. So I would suggest a cup of hot cocoa or a cup of tea or whatever the beverage of your choice is and come along with me. on the lake yet, but it's close. This is the, the loon nest that my husband puts out and takes in every year for our pair of loons. You can see it's a busy summer area and we do have people here all year long too like us come back from the post office and it's mighty cold out. It feels like snow in the air. So I'm having some cinnamon walnut cookies and treating myself to a hot cocoa with that froth skim milk on the top. I can't believe how much that frothed up. These cinnamon walnut cookies are an old recipe I had for so many years. I haven't made in a long time. I made them the other day. I don't know why I haven't made them in a long time. They're delicious. I'm going to put in the recipe. It's a short recipe. So I will either insert a still photo of it uh, that you can pause and, and maybe take a screenshot. Or I'll see if I can drop it down below as well. They're really good. They're... <laughs>
is the hallway that leads up to my quilt studio. And here is a quilt from one of Nancy Halverson's books called Up on the Rooftop. This is where I put my crafty Santas right on my studio door. Here's a quilt that's called Winter Celebrations. It's from a book by Janet Selk called Celebrations. And this is obviously the winter season. I made all three, all four seasons. And I've shown you the autumn one with all the pumpkins. Here is the winter one. And I hang these right here uh, and change them out every season. It is machine pieced, hand quilted and hand appliqued. So uh, the snowman and any shapes like that have all been hand appliqued. I also you know, hand quilted these um, as well, all of them. I love when this one goes up. It's, it's, um, it's always fun to see. I love these crazy trees. That one and that one. Let me stand back so you can get a good look. Here's an oldie that's hanging over my snowy village. It is called 1776 Santa. For obvious reasons, he's a very patriotic Santa. Carrying his, his usual bag of toys. This Santa is hand appliqued, hand quilted, and then machine pieced where applicable. One of my early Santas. Um, I started to make a Santa every year. I think around the time that I was making this one. And he was um, so he really started a trend. This is a another quilt from a pattern by Nancy Halverson called Jingle All the Way. It's uh, used, I used a line of her fabric, of her Christmas fabric one year. And like the Acorn Hollow fabric, I also bought quite a bit of this too, because it was so useful. This quilt is machine appliqued with the buttonhole stitch, and it is machine quilted as well. This is a quilt that's kind of special to me. I call it Woodland Santa. I saw this design on a um, Hallmark card a number of years ago, and I didn't do it exactly like the card, but it I definitely took a, you know took off from that drawing on that card. And as you can see, Woodland Santa is surrounded by birch trees. in the woods and little critters. A 
couple of bunnies enjoying some seeds made out of beads. Some peace trees in the corners. And a friendly neighborhood deer in the woods. This quilt is all hand appliqued and hand quilted. It was done in the same method that I do portrait quilts. He has felt leaves on the top of his cap. And now you can get a better look. This is a quilt that I call Dash Away All. And because of the size of it, this is about the only way I can show you. <laughs> so Dash Away All was my own design. I, um, let me just, I'm going to just walk down the, the end of this. Put a village down on the bottom, at least the rooftops. And I piece stars all along the sides and the top. These reindeer, the reindeer are designed by a quilter named Barbara Barber. She is a US quilter though there is a Barbara Barber in the UK, which makes it confusing. But I just, I saw her, uh, a quilt she made with these reindeer, and they were the, the exact size and everything that I needed. I asked her permission to use them because the quilt was going to hang in some shows, and she allowed me to, to use the reindeer, which was great. I, I pieced little stars, um, I piece little quilts, um, three-dimensional quilts, on each reindeer's back. The lights on this house do not light up. People always ask me that. I got that little garland at some point before I ever saw these mini lights that light up. There's a bell in that church tower and snow on the trees. Santa's sleigh, of course, has a, a, his pouch with some toys, a teddy bear, a Christmas tree, and a, and a little, I don't know what that is, French horn, I suppose. Put a little silver, silver piping around his sleigh. And you can see, I, uh, it's all hand appliqued and it's hand quilted. And on the background, instead of having just one flat blue piece of fabric, I appliqued layers of blue, different blue fabrics. And I think it gave it a nice effect. I found this tree. Um, blue fabric with these trees and I just I knew I had to work that in somewhere. Try to give you an overall picture. Charlotte War Anderson who's a quilter I admire and have taken classes from. Um, she put this quilt, Dash Away All, in one of her books. This is the book. I've talked about this book and I've talked about Charlotte in my second episode, Portrait Quilts. I, I really have great admiration for her work. And 
here on page 53 <laughs> is Dash Away All. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Now it's time for something old, Christmas style. There's a little Christmas bonus in this for you because there's actually two something olds today. The first one is this. When I unpacked my Christmas things from the attic, I found my old Prairie Schooler Santa that I made back in 1984. And I even found the pattern for it. Here is the old pattern. They didn't even put the years on the front like they do now. And I probably did, it's, it's dated on the back 1984. I probably made it about then. But here he is. One of my first counted cross stitch pieces, if not the first, I'm not quite sure. But um, started me on a long trail of collecting these fellows and sort of coming in and out of my life. Um, just like counted cross stitch has, whenever it's time to take him out, I. I'm always happy to see him. My second something old, you guessed it, it's a quilted vest. As I've mentioned before, I've made these years ago and I made one for every month. So naturally I made a Christmas one for December. The leaves on the front are hand appliqued. I've just made very large French knots for the berries. There's a little bit of hand quilting on this. And of course you would expect the back to have something. Here is Santa's sleigh on the back. Once again, all hand appliqued. There's some hand quilting. And I wore this for so many years when all those uh, quilted vests were so popular. And you know, I know my friend Davina of Little Workroom, Little Workroom Crafts is also a fan of the quilted vest. And I think, Davina, I think we need to start a new trend. What do you say? Waiting for 
for snow And each day I feel better And my hope begins to grow Been staring out my window Looking for a sign Something to remind me of The place I left behind Time of the year There's a feeling I remember From the time when I was young On the last days of December Me and you and everyone We would run around Cousins used to live And we do lots of things I know our folks would not forgive mm -hmm. My time of the year Oh, I know it's a lot to ask For a day to forever Time of the 